Hey everybody, Scott Pierce here at Listing to Leads. I'm gonna walk you through how to add custom questions to your Facebook lead ads so that you can get more information when you're generating seller leads, you're generating buyer leads to add to the information you're getting. So here is an ad using one of the PDF guides from Listings to Leads. So this is gonna return a beautiful PDF guide completely branded to you. And when the lead clicks on the ad, you'll see it's gonna get name, email, and phone number automatically. And if they try to click that, the question that you have um, included comes up and here we're asking for a time frame of when they're planning to sell. So I'm gonna show you how to do an ad like this and I'll just walk you through and I'll just, let's just go take a look at it. So it's gonna take them to a page where they can download the report. They're also gonna get an email and they can download the report in the email. And you can see what the report looks like here. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in listings to leads. And then we're also gonna look at an ad for a buyer, for buyer leads. And all of these leads come with a name, email, and phone number. So here's another ad. And this is going for buyers, six things to check before buying a home. So again, people click. And here we got name, email, and phone number. And now I've included two questions. So there's a few different questions you can include. So I'll say my time frame is three to six months and no, I'm not working with a lender and just click through and that will take them to where they can download that PDF guide. And again, they'll also be sent an email and they can download the guide from the email as well. All right. And so here's the download. Take a quick look at it. So beautiful guides, again, all branded to you. You can change the uh, colors of the ads. So in listing to leads, you'll be able to go in and change the PDF guide report covers, the ad covers um, to reflect your branding and all of that. If you have any questions, ask our support team, of course. So from listing to leads, the ads page right here, and we're gonna look at create PDF report ad. Now these questions are available for all ads. So if you're doing an ad for your listings, open house, just sold, what have you, these questions are available there as well. But for right now, create PDF report ad. And again, I'm gonna show you one for sellers and then we'll do one for buyers. You can see how easy this is, okay? So for seller report, let's do five dangers of overpricing your home. And you can actually download the PDF guide right from that uh, first part there. And I'll show that to you in a minute. But now if you want to just do a straight up ad, all you got to do is type in the location. You can edit the radius, budget, start and end date. You can change the image if you want. You can click to retarget and type in whatever your custom audience name is. Okay. Now to add those questions to the lead form, click where it says advanced options. Click the green create new form button and then right here form questions open that up and you'll see one two three four five now the order of these may change i'm going to maybe regroup them we may add questions a couple of things one i would not do more than two if you start doing three you're going to you're just going to get fewer leads the more questions you ask okay because when people can just click right name email phone number they can click right through uh it's it's easy all right now it's kind of nice to be able to ask a question because a you get more information and then b you can find out if they're really a good lead right do they really want to see that uh information all right um and if a answering one question is gonna dissuade them from doing that they're probably not a great lead um but start asking too many questions and your lead quality our lead total is really gonna plummet all right so with that being said if I go to, I'm looking to buy or sell, like let's say I'm looking at a, this is for sellers, right? Five dangers of overpricing your home. So I might just do, what's your time frame to sell, right? And that maybe that's all I do, all right? At most, I may also add in, are you buying a home when, you, when your home sells, right? Maybe ask that. So let's just say I'm gonna do those two questions and I can even reorder these. So I can, may want the, do you need to, buy when your home sells put that on top all right so we just click create new form we included that uh those two questions and then i'm going to scroll down now there's other targeting things i can do here but you don't need to worry about it we got campaign for special housing ad category already done we got the autoresponder done for you all you got to do is click publish and get this ad to facebook for review and i will show you how to see what the ad's gonna look like here in a second. 
And then again, we're going to do a buyer ad next, all right? And you'll see how to do an ad for a buyer PDF guide. So once you're back on this page here and you're looking at that uh, ad you just did, five dangers of overpricing, click on where it says view ad right here. There's like a little eyeball. And if you do it too fast, you're going to get this page here. But usually if you refresh the uh, browser once or twice, there you go, second time through, is the charm. Here's a preview of the ad. I'm going to click the blue show ad button, and this will let us see the ad. Typically, you got to scroll down about a, uh, a post or two. So here's the ad that we just did. All right. Now, when we click on this, name, email, and phone number should uh, auto-populate in the lead form. And it's going to ask me two questions. And I almost already forget what they are. But here we go. Name, email, phone number. Are you buying a home in your home? Sells. Yes, I am. And what's your time, time frame to sell? Yeah. I'll say six to 12 months, who knows? All right, again, click through. We will go to the page where we actually land on the page to download the PDF guide here. And I'm also gonna get an email uh, autoresponder and I can download the guide from that email as well. Now, let's do this one for a buyer guide. All right, obviously make sure these leads are getting to your CRM, all right? In listing to leads in your profile, there's a tab called CRM integrations. Blind Desk, Boomtown, Real Geeks, uh, I think we're working on Chime, KB Core, we got some others in there, uh, but make sure to check that out as well. All right, but now let's take a look at a PDF report ad for a buyer report. And did I mention these actually can be in Spanish? So not only can you put the PDF guides in Spanish, but the ads are in Spanish as well. I do not speak Spanish, so I'm gonna go back to English. But for those of you that need them, there they are. And give us your feedback. I'd love to get your feedback. People love them. People are using them, right? Phenomenal feedback from everybody. So I'd love to get your feedback as well. So for a buyer report, let's take a look at a first time home buyer's guide. That does pretty well. So again, just like before, type in the location that you want to do the advertising. Take a look at your radius. All of this is good to go. All of it's editable, right? Change to media, retargeting, just like I said before. All right. And again, advanced options. Click the create new form button. And all you got to do is, which ones do you want to do? So in, in here, are you working with the lender? What is your time frame to buy? All right. That's what I would do. And uh, again, I mean, you know, you don't need to move it up above this cause it's off. So it's not going to show, but if you wanted to reorder the, uh, questions, you know, above the active ones that you're doing, no problem. And then again, scroll down again, you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. All right. It's all editable if you want it, but we've got it set up to be just right for 99% of you. For those of you that want to get in there and uh, mess around with it, feel free. Um, but please only do it if you really know what you're doing. Um, because again, we got most of this stuff optimized um, to work the best for most people. So here we are again. We're back on the ads account dashboard. That was the one we just did a minute ago, Five Dangers of Overpricing. Here's the new one, the First Time Home Buyer's Guide. Let's go take a look at it. And again, we got here a little bit too fast. So let's go ahead and refresh this browser again. And there we go. There's the preview. I will go to show ad, click the blue show ad button. And again, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And again, here's the ad. So again, people click the ad. And again, the name, email, and phone number form fields will auto populate. All right. And if they try to click next before answering them, and that's kind of the nice thing about the way they do this is they give you a nice indicator of what's why, why you're not going through. Uh, what's your time frame? I'll say one to three months. Of course, I'm not working for the lender, right? <laughs> so anyways, uh, click submit and send report. And again, they can go download the PDF guide for this topic. And uh, they'll also get an email with an autoresponder that they can download the guide from that email. So what I would highly recommend is you see in listings to leads, Right. When I go to PDF report ad, there are over 50 PDF guides. 
all right? 25 plus for sellers, 25 plus for buyers, and highly recommend running a different PDF guide every week to show your area that you have a lot of expertise in real estate and that you can help them along their journey as well. So if you have any questions on any of this, by all means, please leave a comment below, ask support, and we'll talk to you soon.